Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic limits. Here we have the example for indeterminate form. So kindly refers to the right hand side. Here we have the definition. Square root of x square is equals to absolute value of x. And for the definition for absolute value of x, we have x when the domain x greater or equals to 0. And for the function negative x, we will have the domain x less than 0. Then, illustrate the situation in a number line. So, less than 0, we will have negative x. And greater than 0, we will have x. Now, let's di discuss the situation on the left-hand side. Limit when x approaching negative infinity for the function 5 minus x over x squared plus 4. If we substitute the value, we will have positive infinity for the numerator. And we will have positive infinity for the denominator as well. For this case, it can be denoted as indeterminate form. So what is the strategy to solve this kind of problem? Dividing the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of x of the denominator. Repeat, the highest power of x of the denominator. So for this case, it is a special case. So now what we have to do is to factorize the situation. So limits when x approaching negative infinity Kindly factor out the x and we will have 5 over x minus 1 over square root of x square bracket 1 plus 4 over x square for the denominator. By using the properties of square root, split the situation, limits when x approaching negative infinity so we will have x bracket 5 over x minus 1 over square root of x square square root of 1 plus 4 over x square. Here, kindly pay attention, we have the situation square root of x square. As we all know, square root of x square actually equals to absolute value of x. So based on the situation, now we are going to select a function. When x approaching negative infinity, meaning that towards the left. Since the x is approaching negative infinity, so the negative x is selected for the function. So limits. When x approaching negative infinity, x bracket 5 over x minus 1 over negative x square root 1 plus 4 over x square. Kindly simplify the situation and we will have limits when x approaching negative infinity 5 over x minus 1 over negative square root of 1 plus 4 over x square. Please take notes we have the key if we have 1 over infinity, we will obtain 0. So for this case, if we substitute the negative infinity, we will have 0, which will be negative 1 for the numerator. And we will have 0. Then again, we will obtain a negative 1 as well for the denominator. So as a conclusion, Limits when x approaching negative infinity for the function 5 minus x over square root of x square plus 4, we were approaching the value of y, 1. Here we have another example. Limit when x approaching positive infinity for the function 5 minus x over x square plus 4. So previously, we already discussed square root of x square is equals to absolute value of x and we also have the definition on the right hand side so now what we have to do is to substitute the value and we will have negative infinity for the numerator 
over positive infinity for the denominator. So in this case, we consider it as indeterminate form. So what is the strategy to solve this kind of situation? Dividing the numerator and the denominator by the highest power of the denominator. So in here, what is the highest power of the denominator? I would say x. So let's factorize the situation. So limit when x approaching positive infinity, x we will have 5 over x minus 1 over kindly split the situation. So in here we have x square square root of 1 plus 4 over x square. So for this case, when x approaching positive infinity, meaning that towards the right, so the function would be x. So since x approaching positive infinity, so the function x is selected. So limits when x approaching positive infinity, so x bracket 5 over x minus 1 over x square root of 1 plus 4 over x square. Kindly simplify the common terms and we will have limits when x approaching positive infinity 5 over x minus 1 over square root of 1 plus 4 over x square. If we substitute, we will have 0 over here also 0. And then finally, we will have negative 1 over 1. Limits when x approaching positive infinity, 5 minus x over square root of x squared plus 4, we were approaching the value of negative 1. So here we are. And thanks for watching.